Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hopefully my audio is working this time, but I am going to be showing you guys all of the update secrets that we know of from the gym update this time. I'd like to give credit to people on Twitter as well as my Discord because some of you did help me find some of these, so thank you so much. I did find some of these myself and I'm just really excited to share because it seems like there's a pretty decent amount of them. So if you go to Quick Meal, there is now a fruit infused water bottle. Here is a close up. So we have this, if you drink it, some of it does disappear. When you drink it, the fruit actually follows the water, which is really cool. I thought it was actually just one of those like stick thingies that goes in the water bottle, but there is that one. There is also a acai bowl in the take a quick meal, which is right here. You do have to mix it up. And then there's also a nutrition bar. The nutrition bar is $40 and that's pretty expensive, but there is a reason behind it. When you eat all of the bar, there is this that comes up and it says 10% XP gain. So when I go over and I do an exercise, let's say I use the exercise bike, my XP will actually increase for the amount of time. So for 45 seconds, it's going to increase 10%. If you go to the water jug and you click it, you can take a sports drink bottle and that means you also get a new water bottle. So there are some hidden water bottles around, which is really cool. So there's that one and then the protein powder down here. If you use that, you actually pour powder into a cup, but this is not a cup that we have yet. So that's really cool. We have this one now too. And then we also have the water bottle that I showed in my mood station. So that's three. And then there is a fourth one. Just like when you go to the hot chocolate stand in the winter, there are special drinks that you can only get from there. In this case, in the gym, if you talk to the guy here, he provides things for you to purchase. As you can tell, the nutrition bar here is 150 blocks per cash, which means it is much, much cheaper to level up if you buy it from your own fridge. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the water bottles. This is a metal water bottle that you can purchase from here and you can take back. There are four water bottles in total. There is a glitch with the shake right now, which is really funny. They do know about it. They will be fixing it eventually. If you go into build mode and you move it around, it splits. It's really weird and it's split over here already, but look, it's completely split up. So they are fixing that. If you go to skills, there are higher levels now. You can go much higher, specifically in the athletic skill right now. I would guess that the levels for everything are going to go up. When you click on a level, you do have a little pop-up and it tells you what you earn when you reach a certain level. So at level 30 is when you'll get this trophy. And speaking of this trophy, and unfortunately I do not have a picture of this, but someone in my Discord server said that if you had the athletic trophy before this update came out, your trophy says legacy. So that's pretty cool if it's true. So when you go to cooking, it does show you all the things that you can get. Same with the gardening and it goes down all the way except for crafting and programming, which we still don't know about. You can also now sprint in Bloxburg where you have to be on a computer for it as of right now. Maybe they will have a sprint button later, but you just have to hold shift like every other game and you can sprint. But when you sprint, there is a stamina bar up here and it goes down when you run. And once it's empty, you stop running. So it's kind of like those horror games where you can only run for a certain amount of time and then you have to wait for the bar to go up, but the bar moves up very quickly. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. People are saying you can put things in lockers. So we're gonna test it with this water bottle here. Customize character change outfit use. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not know about that. So that is actually really cool. That is great for role plays. So you can put things inside of it. So now I have a water bottle in my locker. How cool is that? You can also click on your character for exercises or animations. If you go to emotes and I actually have a whole bunch on here, so it's going to be kind of hard to find them. I don't know if they're at like the end or something. Flex muscles maybe. Oh, yep. This is an animation from Bloxburg, but I do have like the other flexing one. <laughs> That's funny. Here's the backflip. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do have the backflip. Let's see what it looks like. Yes, love it. Okay, so I only have those two animations, but there's also obviously animations on a lot of these items. You just have to interact with them. So here is the jump rope. My favorite has to be the yoga mat because it shows that you are very, very flexible. Like that's pretty impressive. Wow. Also the basketballs, you can use them with the hoop and you can pass them. So I'm going to get another account online with me to show you guys. But for now, while I'm getting that loaded up, when you hold V, there is a bar that comes up. Depending on how far you want it to go, you would go red for not very far, green for pretty far. And then you click in the area that you want to see it from. I'm not sure how this works on mobile. Hopefully it works well. You actually click V, which is really weird. Like I thought you would just click the character, but you have to press V. 
So here's what it looks like. Boop. <laughs> it's pretty cute. So you can pass it back and forth as like a little role play if you just want to toss the ball back and forth with somebody. There you go. That is how you pass the ball. We also have three new materials. We have vertical planks, speckled rubber, and rubber interlocking tiles. And last but not least, we have a really cool one. Mirrors are now functional. If you click a mirror, you now pose in front of the mirror, you flex, you check yourself out. It's pretty funny. But I like it because it's just a little bit more interactive and it brings something else to the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the update in the comments below. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do and I will see you guys next time.